If it's not up, it's because Steve and Steiny just went absolutely at it. You gave back to Steiny recently too. You, you pissed on him. I did everything for you. Why did everything for you too? You did your fucking job. 100% supportive. Aaron's gonna fucking crush his life. He's, but he's a rat. The Nelk boys have had many people in their videos that have eventually been kicked out of the group. As for Steiny or Aaron Steinberg, many wonder why he's still around. Could it be because his dad is Nelk's lawyer and now they legally can't do anything to him? The feedback from fans have clearly showed that the majority hate him and want him out of Nelk's spotlight. Some even saying, Steiny is so corny on the podcast. Steiny seems to be someone I don't want anything to do with. Steiny has no value outside of being an assistant. How did such a hated individual land into the seat that he's in today? Steiny was able to squeeze his way into the Nelk and Full Send group through connections that came from his father's underground poker games. Throughout most of his career, he's managed to weasel his way into his next steps. Most times, leaving behind the ones who helped him get there. Through his father's underground poker games, Steiny spoke and built a network with many of the businessmen that would attend the game. One of the businessmen that he would later run into was Bob Menery. Bob was at the time a member and founder of the Full Send podcast. After the two met, Steiny would go on to be Bob's personal assistant, regularly doing jobs for him that seemed to be very unfulfilling. I called that night, his first mission was at 2 a.m. I said, you gotta get me an Adderall right now, you got 15 minutes, find one. <laughs> and he came through. If Aaron like missed a phone call if he missed a f thing he would be scrubbing literally my floors with a f toothbrush Steiny's role as what seemed to be someone's slave could have been the start to developing personal insecurities that would later show. Those personal insecurities would eventually seem to push him to be someone who chases clout and tries to overcompensate with expensive jewelry that isn't even his. As Steiny continued to work for Bob, there would come a time where Bob would head to Abu Dhabi and bring Steiny along to meet the Nelk boys, which were there for a UFC event. This is where Steiny first got his chance to step on the first person that introduced him to a life of money and fame. Bob ended up leaving Abu Dhabi because of COVID restrictions, but Steiny ended up staying back and hanging out with the Nelk boys, who at the time consisted of Kyle, Salim, and Steve Will Do It. Throughout that trip, as the group drank and partied, Steiny would warm up to Steve Will Do It the most. This is where they would talk about Steiny managing Steve's girlfriend's OnlyFans account, an opportunity that eventually led to Steve offering Steiny a position of being his personal assistant. As Steiny has mentioned before, he's always wanted to live a life of girls, money, and fame. Uh, I, well, if I wanted, I, I just thought it was cool, dude, because it's like, you have girls, money, and, and I guess fame. At the time, since that is exactly what the Nelk boys were living, Steiny made the decision to leave the person who introduced him to them and join them. A decision that caused his old boss Bob to criticize his personality to be as someone who weasels their way through things. Once Steiny got his chance with Steve, he would start appearing more and more in Nelk's videos, slowly becoming the laughing stock and tease of the group clashing against Kyle's assistant Gabe and being looked down upon for messing things up. Hey, I was sad and f drunk. I got high on party planner because I don't want to get there and it's time to f up the whole party. Surprise, Steve. We're going to throw him a crazy birthday party. Uh, he didn't really want to be involved in planning his birthday, so... Well, we did. I teamed up with uh, Sir Poncho and Steve's shitty assistant, Steiny. Oh. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> he just blew the surprise. Yeah, I as he associated himself with Kyle, the original founder of Nelk, he would eventually get his first full video about him on the Nelk channel. The video was Nelk putting Steiny on a fake date with his crush. He would go on to make rude comments throughout the date that left you wondering how he ever got a girl to respect him. Like, I was surprised you DM me back. Why? You're hot. So, like, I've been with, like, Spotter.
That video was filled with comments like, This dude is so cringe, he needs to be humbled, and honestly, he deserved this prank. Steiny is the type of dude that lets money turn him into a douche. There's no way this is how Steiny talks with other girls. And, I mean, can you blame them? From here on out, the videos were filled with similar comments expressing how much they did not like Steiny. Yet, Steiny has never seemed to really be bothered by it. He continued to be cocky in the segments he would appear in and continue to build up his own ego. He'd do this at Steve's expense, admitting to driving Steve's Lamborghini to impress girls, and even saying he felt like he was Steve. I was the guy. The guy was Steve will do it. That's why yeah. I acted. Yeah, yeah. I had the Richard Milley, I had everything. So why was this never stopped by Steve? or the Nelk boys? Did it not bother them that they were hanging around with someone who seemed to be fake? Or is that just our perception? Because we only get to see what's on camera and not the day-to-day -day Steiny. I'll leave that up to you. As Steiny continued getting closer and closer to the Nelk team, Kyle offered him a position as a host on the Full Send podcast. If he took this position, his pay would increase, but it meant that he would have to choose between sticking with Steve as his personal assistant or leave him. If you got into no Steiny at all from this video, you would know that he decided to leave Steve for a spot on the podcast. This really hurt Steve. Steve had put him in front of many other opportunities, he had given him a car, he had gifted him a watch, and ultimately had done way more than any other person had done for Steiny. Yet it seemed like it wasn't enough for him. Loyalty, dude. It's insane. But that's it. The guy has no no loyal. He's not loyal. And uh, yeah, that's then the Steiny, and he does both talks at 26. If you remember from the beginning of this video, Steiny's old boss, Bob, was a founder of the original Full Send podcast. There was a discrepancy between Bob and the podcast, which resulted in Bob leaving the group and getting the last of his payments. When Steiny was asked about his thoughts on what had happened, he decided to take the Full Send podcast side and defend them on the issue. Although this was not a bad thing and was actually the appropriate stance to have, it leaves room for the question on whether Steiny plays along the way that he is supposed to until he doesn't need to. As Steiny started his new duties as a host on the podcast, other things about him started to come up, like how he rents a lot of the jewelry that he wears and has an entitled mindset on how he should travel on a free trip to Russia to hang out with Hezbollah. Are you taking Steiny with you? Is he gonna go? He's not going because um, he's not. He, we wouldn't give him first like class. Like class issues, yeah. Yeah, because it's like fifteen thousand dollars. I get it. He yeah. doesn't. Steiny's want-to-be lifestyle that we see time and time again has continued and doesn't seem like it will ever end. Maybe his plan is to continue in a want-to-be state until it turns into his reality. I guess we'll have to wait and see. For now, the comment section in the most recent podcast videos seem to show that Steiny is liked more as a host rather than an assistant. So, maybe this is the place that he was meant to be, but ultimately, his next steps remain a mystery.